For those of you who don't know me, I'm Ed Shorthose. I'm Managing Director of Woolly Power Gyro. And in the evenings, and normally once a month, or not all evenings, but evenings like this, and once a month I'm the Chair of the IPA Healthcare Group. Um, the IPA Healthcare Group comprises the MDs and one ECD of what we'd like to think are the top agencies in healthcare in the UK at the moment. Our job during the day is to compete with each other. Um, we compete for talent, uh, we compete for uh, resources, we compete for business of course, and we also compete for awards. But when we are in the safe harbour of the IPA, and when often more recently in fact we're at places like Cannes for the Lions Health, then we form a group where we, we believe in the same things and we act as one. The objectives of the IPA healthcare group is to raise standards uh, it's to increase the talent pool, improve the quality of the talent pool, both in terms of client service and creative. It's to improve the quality of the product, the creative product that we provide our clients. And it is, of course, to stand for the value um, that we believe is inherent in the creative work that we produce. So the title of this evening is What Has Creative Ever Done For Us? Not much you could argue. It's a waste of money. Uh, it's uh, it's an ego massage, massage for a, uh, 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 an, art an art director. It's a shiny for an ambitious client. Um, in the world that we operate in, in healthcare, where the rational argument and the data that convinces our doctors in an evidence-based situation, at best you might argue it's just a nice to have. But what if that creative is based on a real truth? What if that creative ignites an idea or a thought, in another words, otherwise quite tired and uh, a tired environment and a tired world? What if that creative is designed specifically to change behaviour rather than just to change beliefs or change attitudes? And when, when that happens, then you can build brands with creative. And when that happens, you can sell more things and when you do it well then you can truly do some wonderful things and things of value things for humanity and things for the greater good and of course you can win awards but that isn't the reason that's the byproduct of when you do it well dave trott well-known guy in advertising uh, famously said that creativity is the last legal unfair advantage that we have over our competition and that is true when you're selling Coca-Cola uh, in the consumer world. And it is just as true, if not more true, in the world of healthcare, where we have so many different products in market that when you look at them on face value, they're fairly similar. So this is what we believe at the IPA Healthcare Group. This is what we stand for. Um, and it's something that I know that when we stand up, at, when we stand together in a meeting and we talk to you, it is actually what the MDs and friend, we're friends too. It's what we stand for and what we believe in. Um, it's about working together. Obviously, a brand relationship between the brand and the customer is important, but that can only work if the relationship between the agency and the client is working as well as it can possibly be. And when we think about it and we talk about it in our monthly meetings and over a few years, we've, we've managed to boil that down to five golden rules. So at the end of this evening, we're going to talk to you about what those five golden rules are, and you'll even be given a, a, a sealed envelope with those rules inside. We're also going to hear from um, Dan Bennett, who is Choice Architect at Ogilvy Change. Dan deals with behavioural science in the creative world, and he's going to be talking to us about how that works. We're also going to be hearing from Frank Walters, who's Chairman and ECD of Frontera Group London, and also in this guise... Um, the convener of judges at the recent Best of Health Awards that were uh, last month. And Frank's going to be taking us through a couple of winning case studies in the world of healthcare and why the judges uh, awarded those particular, um, those particular projects. 